Today we will talk about Doppler ultrasound, which is an extremely important tool in the assessment of fetal well-being and is paramount in deciding the timing of births in certain high-risk pregnancies. In this video, first of all, we will discuss the different waves of Doppler along with their managements and then in the end we will discuss certain indices which are used in the doppler ultrasounds like resistance index and pulsatility index etc so what is umbilical artery doppler umbilical artery doppler assessment is a specific ultrasound that is used in the surveillance of fetal well-being in the third trimester of pregnancy abnormal umbilical artery doppler is a marker of placental insufficiency and consequent intrauterine growth retardation or suspected preeclampsia. So, how is the normal umbilical artery blood flow pattern? The blood flow through umbilical artery gives a typical low resistance flow pattern, demonstrating a continuous forward flow during systolic wave as well as diastolic wave, though at the reduced rate, that is, throughout the cardiac cycle. So, what happens to the placental vasculature in pathological conditions? In pathological conditions like intrauterine growth retardation, placental vasculature either never fully developed its arteriolar branching or undergoes the atherosclerotic changes and these reflect the increased placental resistance. So, monitoring with umbilical artery Doppler improves the placental outcome. Let us discuss the reduced and diastolic flow. In reduced and diastolic flow, the vascular resistance in placental blood vessels, that is forward blood flow during diastole is reduced. And reduced diastolic flow means 30% of vasculature has been destroyed. So how to do the management of reduced and diastolic flow? In such case, we do repeat Doppler weekly for three to four weeks. Coming to the absent and diastolic flow. Blood flow during systole ceases in absent and diastolic flow and it may appear up to 5 weeks. And reduced diastolic flow means 60 to 70 percent of vasculature has been destroyed. How to do the management of the case with the reduced and diastolic flow? In such case, we need to consider delivery within a week. And at 34 weeks of gestation, consider immediate delivery. And if the patient is at less than 34 weeks, give steroid cover and then deliver. How to do the management in case of reversed and diastolic flow on the Doppler ultrasound? Reverse and diastolic velocity during pregnancy is a strong indication of placental insufficiency preceded by fetal demise within one to two days so how to do the management of reverse and diastolic flow if the patient is at 32 weeks of gestation we need to consider immediate delivery and if she is at less than 34 weeks then give steroid cover and deliver so, what is resistance index on the umbilical artery Doppler? The resistance index is one of the most common vascular ultrasound index during the Doppler study owing to its simplicity. As the vessel narrows and resistance to the flow increases, the resistance index will increase. The resistance index is proportional <clears throat> to not only to the vascular resistance but also to the vascular compliance so what is the formula to calculate the resistance index the resistance index is equal to systolic velocity minus diastolic velocity divided by systolic velocity so ri is equal to peak systolic velocity minus end diastolic velocity divided by peak systolic velocity where psv is equal to peak systolic velocity and edv is equal to end diastolic velocity what is pulsatility index the pulsatility index also called the gosling index is calculated flow parameter in the ultrasound derived from minimum maximum and mean doppler frequency shift during the defined cardiac cycle along with the resistance index it is typically used to assess the resistance in a pulsatile vascular system so what is the formula of resistance index when evaluated as a derived flow parameter during pulse wave doppler it is calculated by using these formulas pulsatility in index is equal to v max minus v minimum divided by v mean means pulsatility index is equal to peak systolic velocity minus minimal diastolic velocity divided by mean velocity 
So that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to complete it with a quote and that is winners embrace hard work. They love the discipline of it, the trade off they are making to win. Losers on other hand see it as punishment and that's the difference so work harder than you think you did yesterday and you will be winner one day inshallah so thank you so much i wish you all the best allah hafiz